Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio. It is not going to resonate with every single one of you out there. This is also not Sun, Moon, or Venus sign specific. Any Scorpio placement you may resonate with. Some of the messages may also resonate with you. Personal reading information will be linked and listed in the description box. At the end, we will pull some oracles, give you some more guidance for the week. Jumping right in, Scorpio, first two cards out. First cards out, actually, you have two sevens off the bat. Seven, seven could be significant to you with the seven of pentacles and the seven of swords. We also have here the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Could be dealing with one of those, have that in your chart. We have here the eight of swords, the four of cups, and the ace of cups. How much here? Too many. Put these back. Lots of masculine energy here as well. Bottom of the deck is the six of cups. Lots of cups. Six of Cups, Queen of Cups, Five of Swords, Nine of Wands. Okay. In your past position, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Some sort of stagnancy here. It's almost giving me stuck in contemplation, stuck waiting. Someone might have been waiting. You might have been waiting for something to manifest, to uh, materialize. Could be for money. Some of you could have definitely been waiting for some sort of financial assistance or improvement um, because the perception is you were unable to move forward, maybe without it. Lots of masculine energy here. So this could be your energy or someone that you're dealing with that's going through this. Friend, family member, lover, different for all of you. But I do get a sense of stuckness here, stagnancy with eight of swords, or at least a perception of being stuck. Not really stuck, though, because, I mean, she could have easily just used one of these swords to cut her out this toilet paper that she's wrapped in. Okay, could be a little bit of victim mentality, but this is just the perception that I cannot move. I cannot make progress. Could be because something hasn't happened yet. I can't move forward. Or maybe someone that just can't move forward off of you. This is a love connection with all these cups here. Someone definitely cannot move forward. Definitely someone that probably can't move forward from you with the six of cups. This is all about nostalgia, thinking of the way things used to be. Someone could also be waiting for either you to come back. You could be waiting for someone else to come back, feeling as if you can't move on. They could be feeling like they can't move on. Friend, family member, lover. The Seven of Swords and the Four of Cups. Seven of Swords is about, um, could be deception. Could also be a sense of avoidance. Someone that's not wanting to deal with something or not wanting to be, you know, waiting for you, but not you wouldn't know they're waiting for you. You, didn't, you wouldn't know they're still stuck on you or vice versa. Giving kind of poker face energy. Especially with the Four of Cups. Four of Cups is a sense of uh, potentially missing an opportunity. A very... and It's funny because the Ace of Cups that's... Sorry, this cup that's hovering in the air is the Ace of Cups. Which is future outcome. Ace of Cups. The letter W or M could be important to you. Someone could have definitely... Could be realizing they possibly missed an opportunity here. Whether in some sort of financial situation or with a, a partnership. Friendship. Could have taken this person a long time to sort of come to this realization. Which is not what I'm getting. I think they've come to the realization a long time ago. But the admitting of it, admitting that this is the realization that they've come to is what has taken a long time. This person knew from the get-go that some sort of F up was had here, was made. But they just couldn't admit it. But at least we're moving out of the stuck energy. And I'm unable to move energy. Also could be a sense of strategy with the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords. Someone realizing, okay, how am I going to... I know I f this up. And instead of being here stuck on it, clearly I can't move past it. How am I going to try and get this back? Because it is giving get back energy, especially with this Ace of Cups. It's all about renewing, bringing the love back. You know, definitely bringing things to how they used to be. Because it looks like at one point things were good. Things were real blissful. Things were happy. And this is the opportunity. This is the energy that this person misses and doesn't want to miss out on. Also, the Knight of Pentacles could signify that um, however long it takes to sort of get back to this energy, this person's willing to do because the Seven of Swords is definitely could be strategy. How do I get it back? Because whatever is going on out here, it ain't it. Boredom, discomfort, you know, not really happy with the options you got. Yeah, because the one you had was lit. You know, Queen of Pentacles, especially from a Queen of, a queen of uh, Cups, sorry. Cancer, Spicy, Scorpio energy, definitely you. Could be dealing with another water sign. Yeah. It's almost giving the love. You know, there's just there's no comparison. The quality of love that you give or gave to this person, friend, 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 me, member, lover, it's incomparable. With that four of cups, it's incomparable. There's nothing like it. It's all they can think about with the six of cups. It's 
So this is what they want to get back. And especially with the Five of Swords here, definitely someone is determined. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords can be definitely didn't go about things the right way, clearly. Some games might have been played. That's why they fumbled you or fumbled the situation because you're not a ball. You can't be fumbled. Situation, you know, was not handled properly. Lots of swords here, too. But progress. Five, we're missing the six, which is the moving forward, which we have the six of cups here. So I do get someone might be not admitting just how much they're affected by um, you most likely taking your energy away from this person. But the Five of Swords also is an energy of a determination to win. That's kind of what I was getting with the eight, a King Knight of Pentacles as well. Someone that is willing to do whatever, however long it takes to get back in your good graces, they're going to do it. They're determined to sort of get this Ace of uh, Cups and Six of Cups back. They know it's going to be hard though. <laughs> They know it's going to be hard, but they're not giving up. They're not going to give up. Judgment, decision made. Definitely someone that you've probably uh, put to rest. Put a situation to rest with. This is like, uh, uh, no, 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 not quite yet. We're not dead yet. We still got a pulse. Even if it's a faint one, we still got it. So it looks like a choice will have to be made on your behalf. The two of wands here, also a card of new contracts and new partnerships. And whoever this is, they definitely regret whatever sort of approach was taken here here's the apology with the page of cups wish fulfillment what else is here three of wands more waiting energy and now we have the king of cups to the queen of cups so they definitely love you whoever this is there is there is love but usually the king of cups doesn't express it all too much and that could have been the problem obviously guidance please for scorpio this is a romantic situation I do get here with this. Someone has it has it's taken a long time for someone to admit to themselves. There was a lot of denial. Not wanting to see. It took a long time for someone to accept within themselves that they effed up. That they effed up. But as soon as the realization and the the overwhelm happens, because I do get this I, I'm surprised I don't see the Ten of Wands here. It does look like they're gonna do whatever it takes. As stubborn as they are, as, as eager as they are to fix it, if that makes any sense. Might have taken them a while to fix it, but it also this is also giving me like however long it takes for you to be comfortable with the situation again, they're willing to sort of do what they gotta do. But I think they've seen the other side of the coin and it, it's not good. It's not good. There is a waiting here, too. Maybe this person could also be waiting for you to maybe reach out first. Don't think that's going to happen, though. <laughs> Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. Yeah. So however long this person has been denying these feelings, you will know eventually. There is going to be some sort of communication here. And that's what's going to potentially mend it. And love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I do think that is your energy coming in. This is Queen of Cups. It's like, yeah, I love you, but I love me more, homie. I love me more. So you do what you got to do. Love and light to you, though. Right into Scorpio, please. Love and light to you. But you ain't going to make me close my heart up because you're not ready or you're not whatever. I'm still going to be a loving person. Meditation brings answers. And it's up to you. So absolutely a choice. The choice is yours. The ball's in your court. Yes. Within the next few weeks, abundance. I think it's your love that's abundant. You're the queen of cups. Of course. But your cutoff game is strong. So someone can play around if they want to. But I do see you're not going to just jump into trusting this person again. But this is more so telling me that this person, uh, they know you're going to have some words with them. They know they're not going to, it's going to take a while. But they're willing to do it. They've made the choice. If there was any sort of being in denial and not wanting to see what was right in front of them, because this is definitely giving someone that did not see what was right in front of them quite clearly, being blindfolded. Okay, guidance for Scorpio, please. They'll be back from the dead. Judgment, they'll be back. What you want to do with that is your decision. Some of you, this is a friend. It's not a lover. You know. Most of you could definitely be a romantic part, romantic interest. I don't think it got to partnership quite yet. What do you need to release? Yeah, it's 
time to take action. Yeah, we just entered Aries season. Actually, I'm filming this second day of Aries season. So it, we, it did say within the next few weeks. So by the end of Aries season, this communication or this person will reemerge. I wonder if there's a Mercury retrograde happening. And time, take time to breathe out. I think that's the current state of the connection. There is, both of you are breathing out. What else do we have here? Let's get one of these for you, Scorpio. Action will be taken, though. Someone's definitely been, um, someone's ready to release something. And I think it's the games. I think it's the lying to themselves, pretending. Two cards here. Untangled neglect. Hmm. I take the time to give myself all approval I desire. This is definitely you. Because it, although you're very loving, you're very loving to yourself as well. Okay, and we also have here illuminating the truth. Yeah. I am willing to see things clearly no matter the outcome. This is this is the, the, the challenge for someone here. Being able to see things clearly because I don't think they were allowing themselves to. Someone wasn't allowing themselves to see things clearly. All right, let's get one of these for you, Scorpio. But they will, 11 11. <laughs> yeah. Guidance, please. For Scorpio. Caution, flipped over. Find out more information. Don't overthink. Don't overwork yourself. I don't think this is you. It's whoever you're connected to here. Because there's a lot of like, it's like they're playing by themselves. That's what the realization is too. If there was any sort of uh, games that were trying to be played or trying to have the upper hand, it's not going to work because you are all love and light. Obviously, you got your dark side. Let's not get it twisted. But you know, once your heart is involved, once your heart is invested, there's no games. You, you wear your heart on your sleeve. What you see is what you get. This person tried to withhold what they were really feeling. And by the time, you know, they maybe got around to saying, okay, I'm ready to show it. You're out. You're like, okay, well, I got time. I'll go wear my heart on my sleeve somewhere else to someone else that has their heart on their sleeve. I'm not desperate. Don't you see this cup? Don't you see how big this cup is? Guidance, peace for Scorpio. So this four of cups is definitely tying me back to this meditation brings answers. They're both in that kind of um, energy. Don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming in order to fit in? I think you've. Re I think you're not dimming. This person wasn't on your level, so you removed yourself. But this is like the heart wants what it wants. You can deny with all your little human body, but that third eye, that soul, knows the truth. Someone was definitely trying to deny or try to hold back or try to overlook how connected they felt to you. But the reality is the reality, and that's what we're facing. That's what we're dealing with now. Reality. Especially since you've withdrawn, it's very obvious. It's very obvious what's missing. This is way too many. Take this one. Do yourself a favor and just enjoy today. I think this is more so your vibe. This could also be this person's vibe. They're doing too much. They're really doing too much. Just, just you know, go with the flow. Stop trying to plot. Because you end up plotting on yourself. You're getting to plot in your own demise. Okay. Scorpio, that's your reading. Hopefully it resonates with you. Thumbs me up. Don't forget to subscribe. See you guys next week.